I was scrolling on the internet and I was reading stuff, being nosy, not doing what I was supposed to do. And I ran across this picture. And my first thought was, damn, she fine. Look at her lips, full face. She's sexy. I'd love to take her out, right? Then her name came up, Jody Arias, right? If y'all not familiar with Jody Arias, this message is for men and women who date women. You got to be careful who you meet on the internet because looks can be deceiving. Jody Arias in 2008 murdered her boyfriend, right? And. She stabbed her boyfriend 27 times, slit his throat from ear to ear, literally, then proceeded to shoot him in the face. After doing that, after doing that, rented a car, drove to Utah to a conference, met up with some other dude, vibe told him he, she cut her hands while working at Margaritaville, got back in the car, threw the car mats away, cleaned the car, and dropped the car back off to the rental place company. While on her way to Utah, she called the dude she had murdered, left voicemails to make it... Listen. Listen. When somebody show you signs of... um of aggression when some when someone shows you signs of, of of if I can't have you nobody will then you probably you probably should believe them I looked at a lot of a lot of true crime serial killer documentaries I've witnessed a lot of people this this was different on on her way to her trial she told somebody in an interview the jury won't convict me because I am innocent then when she got on stand, the prosecutor asked her, why did you say that? She said, because I planned on committing suicide so the jury wouldn't have had to be here. That's why I knew they weren't going to convict me. Listen, there, there, there is um, there's crazy. There's psychopath. This is a cryopath. This is Paisy. This is different. The only way she was found out was because there was a digital camera in the homie's apartment that got his last moments of him breathing. God bless his soul, bless his family. My condolences to those folks. She got life in prison without the possibility of parole. She was on the stand testifying as a witness for 18 days. The lady said for a while they didn't have regular sex because they were Mormons, so they would only have anal sex. When she said that in the courtroom, when I read those transcripts and she said that, I closed the internet. I went to the kitchen. I put some, some holy water in a pot and I boiled the hell out of it, literally. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't want to play this game no more. I don't want to meet nobody. I don't want nobody. Y'all ain't got to like these statuses. When I, I ain't going to post no more cute pictures. I ain't going to be tempting because you know what? Everything that glitter ain't gold. Everything that shine bright ain't a diamond. I'm I'm straight. I'm too soft for this. I'm too soft for the intro. I could look at this picture and fellas, keep it real. Based off the picture, tell me you wouldn't take her down two times. I'm gonna um I'm I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna watch Blues Clues. I'm gonna go watch Blue Clues and um and I'm gonna rejuvenate myself because Jody, if your name is Jody, if your name start with a J, I'm straight. I'm straight.